Introducing Some Launcher 3. That some launcher you have there. It's play what you want and hassle free. Cross platform and content. What the? Hello, and welcome to this overview for Some Launcher version 3. Today, we're going to show you some of the new features in Some Launcher that we've been working hard to bring you. But first, here's a quick overview of what Some Launcher already does. Some Launcher is a third-party program designed to be used alongside Overgrowth from Wolfire Games. Some is an acronym for Settings, Updates, and Mods. Modding is one of the main reasons that we started working on Some OG Utilities, and our goal was to provide an easy way of installing maps and mods into Overgrowth. For a long time we were using an early mod called the Menu Mod, which was essentially a collection of all the community-made maps in one big install. The downside to that installation method was that it took a long time to install. It was uncompressed, so you had to download every single file individually, and you had no choice in what you would like installed in your game. With Sun Launcher version 3, we are now introducing the Community Content Browser. The Community Content Browser contains all of the content that was available through the menu mod, but presented in a much more user-friendly way. The left side of the window lists all current content. Selecting an item displays a detailed view, which contains a description, the author name, and more. The Community Content Browser has instant search capabilities. So, for example, if you want to find a new weapon to install into Overgrowth, all you have to do is start typing into the search field, and the results will live update to match your query. By default, items are sorted by modification date, though you may also choose to sort by release date, category, author, or download count. Content may also be filtered by category. One such category is Expansions and Fixes, which contains important alterations and additions to the core game files that unlock additional content and treat certain issues. We recommend that you keep the expansions and fixes up to date as they are quite useful. To install community content, select the item you want and click install. The content will be added to the download queue and begin to download. The download queue displays all currently queued content and allows any queued item to be cancelled. Some items are dependent on other content being installed to work properly. You can check the dependencies for a content item by selecting it and scrolling down to the bottom of the description. If you try to install an item that is dependent on something that is not installed, Sun Launcher will alert you with a pop-up containing direct install links to all of the dependencies. Simply install all of the required content from the window, and Sun Launcher will allow you to continue with your installation. Uninstallation of content is as easy as installation. To uninstall content, select the Installed Content tab on the left side of the Community Content Browser, pick the content you would like to uninstall, and click the Uninstall button. If you attempt to uninstall something that other content items are dependent on, some launcher will alert you. If you wish to continue with the uninstallation, you must first uninstall all of the listed dependent content. If any updates are available for content you have installed, the Community Content Browser will automatically switch to the Installed Content tab. Items with updates available will appear in blue, and by the default sorting method, will appear at the top of the list. To view the change log for a content item, click the Available Version button. To update a content item, just click the Update button. If no community maps are installed, Overgrowth will display a message in place of any custom maps. Content that is installed by some launcher will dynamically appear in-game. For instance, let's try installing the map Radioactive Box and a custom weapon made by Johannes, a disc golf disc. Once we fire up Overgrowth, the level automatically appears in the main menu. Custom items can be accessed by opening up the item browser and navigating to the community tab. We are really excited to finally bring you this update. As always, if you already have some launcher, simply run it to update. If not, visit our topic on Wolfire's secret pre-order forum to grab a download.